And one of the ways some of us, not all, perhaps not many, certainly not most, but some of us misunderstand the religion by thinking that Islam doesn't want us to aspire for greatness. Islam doesn't want us to aspire for great wealth. Islam doesn't want us to aspire for great knowledge. Just the fardain, yajfini hadha. Al-furud al-ayniha. This is my basic obligations. That's all I want. I was in Damascus and one of the students who had recently came, we went to visit one of the great sheikhs there. And he asked me to translate. And he said, tell the sheikh I came here and I don't want to become a big scholar. I just want to learn my fardain and the basics of my religion. And the sheikh, he said, tell him, why don't you want to be a great scholar? When Allah says in the Quran, وَجْعَلْنَا لِلْمُتَّقِينَ imama." Make us leaders for the righteous. Why don't you want to be a leader for the righteous? But he said, you should want this not for the aggrandizement of yourself, but for the service to the people. How can we serve if we don't have money? How can we serve if we don't have knowledge? How can we serve if we don't have education? How can we serve if we don't have worldly experience in this or that area? So we should aspire for greatness, brothers and sisters. Allah Ta'ala mentions in the Qur'an, وَجَعَلْنَا مِنْهُمْ أَئِمَّةً يَهْدُونَ بِأَمْرِنَا لَمَّا صَبَرُوا وَكَانُوا بِآيَاتِنَا يُوقِنُونَ We made from them leaders who guided nations. In this case, they guided the Bani Israel. So they were great leaders and their names we know in history. The names of the prophets and leaders who led the Bani Israel. And the general meaning is applicable for every nation, every community. So we want great people and we want people who aspire for greatness. But we need to understand that greatness, it cannot come from us. If we aspire to push ourselves up, the maximum extent will be eight or nine feet. Some of us are six feet tall. We can reach two feet over ourselves, our, over our heads. So we can push ourselves up eight or nine feet. That's it. If we rely on ourselves. But if we seek greatness through Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we seek greatness relying on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If we seek greatness seeking the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then there is no limit to how great we can be. There's no limit to how great we can be because Allah Ta'ala has unlimited strength, unlimited power, unlimited resources, unlimited boundaries if we try to confine His power. There are no expanses, no physical, no limitations. So there's no end to our potential if that potential is manifested through Allah. 